state, zoom in, zoom out. And one thing that I do the most is identify the buildings next to the primary targets to get a better picture from the sky. A point of reference could be the very flat building, the warehouse 89. It doesn't have a building to the left and the target is to the right. And if you want, you can go to the overhead view, a good point of reference from the sky. On this target side, the assembly building, the biggest building. So use it as reference to recognize the other targets. Here, to the right of the assembly building, are the two high priority targets. To the left is the underground storage, around here somewhere. So what I do is remember where the bigger buildings are. That way, I will know where the little ones will be. Now let's check the shipping dock. You see it's very close to the administration building. Your point of reference from the sky will be that they are very close to each other. And this type of target is composed by two buildings. You will probably need two bombs, one for the larger building and one for the smaller one. And now let's go check our primary target, which is the underground storage. To have an idea of where it is located, and there it is, very small, very hard to see. This is why you will probably always use laser guided bombs, or if you have the coordinates, you can use GPS bombs like the JDAMs. Here you can get a good reference from its position based on the administration building, the office dock, the assembly building, and the storage tanks. Now, each target has coordinates. Displayed right here in the upper left corner. Using these coordinates, you can set up the steer point Q right over any target that you want, helping you know exactly where it is when you get to the target site. So basically you will have your steer Q, the diamond, right over this area on top of the underground storage. I will show you how to do that in a little bit. But right now, this is it for this target site, I think. Just get as comfortable as possible with your target site. The worst thing that can happen is getting into your target area and don't know what building you have to hit. So once you're done checking all these targets, close your list and go get some. Let's go back to the map. Now you have all the information available. You know where you're going and what you have to hit. So let's go keep the tires and light the fires. Now let's analyze the right MFD on a deeper scale. The new addition to the JDAMs on this version of Free Falcon is the OBS-20, this button right here. The step selector, where you can engage the auto step and the manual step. On auto step, each bomb will hit a single target. And on the manual step, all bombs deployed will hit a single target. So let's see that in action. The part one of this tutorial shows you the auto step, and now I will demonstrate the manual step. Alright, so here we are, about 34,000 feet. Let's level off. Almost at the IP point. Engage your target area with S. Steer point number 5. Let's go back down, get your weapons. Power them on. It's aligning. We have the assembly building already select. If you want to switch your targets, you can switch them. If you want to. So let's just hit the uh, assembly building so you can see it better. Here you have the auto step, gonna go to manual, change your weapons to 4, because this is a big building, and 175 feet should be pretty good spacing between weapons. So here we go, it comes to release queue. You don't have to be completely aligned with the uh, straight line, just Try to go towards your target. Hold your pickle button and wait for your bombs to release. GBU released. GBU released. There they go. Just gonna slow down. That's the caution from your category, Cat One and Cat Three, for your hard points on your wings. That's our target area. And let's see what happens. The bomb should be around here somewhere. So just keep your eye on the Altitude. assembly building. Altitude. And you should completely annihilate that building. There 
Vegas, Cabo. You can see that any other targets were hit, just that one. And that's the other thing that you can look. It's at your damage level. You can see the building is completely destroyed. Sometimes it's just gray, or sometimes it's like this, but I think this building will only need about two bombs to be completely destroyed. So that was manual step with all the bombs hitting one target. Now let's go look at hitting two separate targets at the same time. Okay, so same thing, engage your target areas, 0 0.5, weapons, down, power, now this is where you gotta get really quick with these buttons because you have to change your target real quick, so make sure that you know where your underground storage is, so underground storage is there, assembly building there, so manual step, ripple to 2, enter, same spacing, go back up, here comes the queue, just facilitate a little bit more. Range 9, data amps are between 8 and 5 nautical miles away from the target. There you go. GBU two. released. GBU released. Underground storage and hold your pickle button. GBU released. Two. GBU released. Here we go. Come down. Turn a little bit to the right. And here we go. We should see the underground storage. I mean, yes, the underground storage and the assembly building going up in flames. Altitude, altitude. building and on the ground storage. So now you can see the difference on the damage level. If you remember the other one, this building just got grayed out and it's smoky. So you probably need more than two more like three bombs. Or maybe just more spacing in between the maybe three hundred feet in separation from each bomb. So there you are. Those are the manual and the auto step modes. The next feature that we are going to look at is the weapons basic mode, which is PB or TOO, and they are on this button, the OBS-19, right underneath the step selector button. The PB mode, pre-briefed targets, are those targets that have their GPS coordinates preloaded into the fire control computer and TOO, Targets of Opportunity. This mode is used when targeting something that is not a PV target and requires the use of a GM radar in CCRB mode or a targeting pod in order to successfully reset the GPS coordinates on the weapons for a new target. And you can see here the step selector changes to manual as soon as you hit the TOO mode. Alright, let me show you how this works. So, here we are, select your target area, steer point number 5 go into the white screen mode, there it goes, go down, engage your air to ground weapons, bring up your TOO or target of opportunity mode, manual step, weapons, change your weapons however you want to, I'm going to hit two targets, so I'm going to do two and two, you're ready, now power on your weapons, work for them to align and get ready, they're ready, activate your laser pot, this, change the color if you want to, should be pretty close to your IP point right there. So arm your jet. Here's your white side. Now it's narrow. Right now I can move anything. So you have to lock and unlock to move the arrow around. Select your target. I want to do the administration building. You can either do point or area. It doesn't really matter. Just leave it there. comes the release queue. Hold your pickle button. 
GBU released. GBU released. So here we go. Now I'm gonna put a 360. Check out your target pod. There's a cloud in the area, so that's why I'm turning. You encounter clouds over your targets all the time. Here we go, back up to it. There's your target area. Go back to screen. Lock it, unlock it. Move to the next target. Administration assembly building. Lock, unlock, and hold your pickle button. Altitude, altitude. GBU released. There we GBU go. released. There goes the administration building. Check out target pot. And the assembly building should be next. Boom. There it goes. And that's how you use your target pot to hit targets of opportunity on the TOO mode. And now I'm going to show you how to create a pinpoint CCRP or CCIP attack on a small target such as SAM or an underground factory or storage. So here's how that works. There are two stages to accomplish this, the pre-flight and the in-flight stage. The coordinates for the underground storage are latitude north 38, 31, 91 and longitude east 126, 29, 83. On the pre-flight stage, you will select the target that you want to mark on your recon list and it will display the coordinates for that target. Write those coordinates on your left knee pad and keep them handy for the flight. The knee pad in this case is just a piece of paper, of course. So that's your steer point number 4 with S to switch it back up. And you can see steer point number 5 which is your target area. Select it in the middle so your weapons are to ground SP. Now you can see your target designator box and your steer point. So you're gonna go to list on your ICP and option one TILS for destination. And you're gonna change the numbers on your DED. So this is how you do it. So you write 38, 31. 91. Hit enter. Sometimes it doesn't change like that, sometimes it does. And just go to the next one. 1, 2, 6, 29, 83. And hit enter. There you go, you can see that it switches. And your box is now over the on the ground storage. And that is it, folks. I hope you like this tutorial. Fly safe.